just legendary status. Like I want to be in a, I want to be in a fucking museum. I want to be in textbooks. I want to be in books. I want to be on fucking numerous documentaries about me. You know what I'm saying I want to be remembered as a great, like not only a great artist but just like a great person, a great individual, a yeah. great gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, somebody that was true to the to the, to the culture, to the lifestyle. You know what I mean? To the people. You know what I mean? I want to be talked about for thousands of years. I want to be a BG, before G. <laughs> before G and after G. Oh, you know yeah. What what, uh, I was going to say, uh, well, this, that was a good last answer, but how did you get the name uh, Perico? Um, man, that's crazy. I just said this shit earlier. Uh, we had a spot on 103rd and Broadway. Mm-hmm. It was a uh, duplex, uh, fourplex. You know what I mean? And we was in the third one. And, um, you know, we was getting money in there and shit. And uh, this around the time when I used to just be hustling for like five days straight before I go to the house. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Pockets full of money, but I would never take my fucking shoes off. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, my fucking feet used to stink like a <laughs> motherfucker, right? So, you know, that's just putting you in the vibe yeah. of what was going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had stinky feet in my J's when I used to take my shoes off when I did... Niggas used to put my shoes outside and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, it got to a everyone, point... Everyone has one of those friends. Yeah, it got to a point where it was embarrassing because I'm not really that type of person. Yeah. But I'm on the grind, though, getting yeah. this money. So um, so all that was going on and yeah. shit, and we used to bag a lot. We still bag a lot. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We used to bag a lot. You know what I'm saying? Fights a lot. All type of shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? In the spot. And, um, and one day... uh. My homegirl and my homie, my homegirl, uh, G Mo, Monique, and my homie Big Magic, you know what I'm saying? They daughter, Magical. She had, um, she was one of the first people. Somebody else called me Perico first. But when she said it, you know what I'm saying? It had became a joke. Uh huh. But, like, I don't, I still don't remember what, what was the funny part about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it became an ongoing joke for, yeah. for, for, you know, a week or so. My homie Lil Jap, my homie B Mike, uh, who else was down there with us all the time? That was pretty much it. Jab, B Mike, um, G Mo, a few other homies that stopped through here and there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it became a joke for like a week. Perico, Perico. I didn't even know how to spell it right. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm a uh I'm a run with this. Yeah. Call me G Perico from now on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And um, I was spelling it wrong. I had a uh, Hispanic girl at the time. Well, somebody that I was, you know, I used to pick her up, knock yeah. her down, and drop her off. Yeah. And I had a, um, I had a, actually had a shirt made with Perico, and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> and she showed, she taught me how to spell it right. Actually, you know what I'm saying. And this was like 2005, four. You know what I'm saying. I wasn't even trying to rap like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying. It was just like my name, G Perico. Yeah. And um. That's pretty much how I got that name, man, from hanging out yeah. in the spot, man. Like, comedy turned into some real yeah, shit. It's like writing a hit song by accident. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming through, man. No doubt. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me, man.